7,000 upfront costs and how much do you pay for insurance? It's all of the insurance on my whole house though, right, so okay. I don't care to <laughs> individually work yeah, it out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, everyone else is scared of the camera, so I look like I'm just on my own. Billy, no mates. It's very lovely to see you all. Oh. 
for something. Some teas will not be able to see. Oh, <laughs> right. So, if you get your best bar hold and put your vines aside, put your vines down, won't you? The vines, please. Keep that. There's no way I can't get to get it. I just carelessly played mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, get your best bow hold, and what we're going to do is crawl your fingers up the bow. Make sure all your fingers, like spider legs, I don't like spiders, but I like spiders here. So they're all working. You don't see spider limping. All the legs are engaged, right? And when they get to the top, come back down again. So the trick to this, if you need to explain it, is to keep your hands soft. Make sure the elbow's not sticking out, that it's pointing to the ground. And that your thumb moves in small movements. That's the easiest way. Kids often try and do this big movement. But uh. yeah, or <laughs> shove it up. But yeah. You can say to them, I've seen every, I know every way to cheat. No, this doesn't count. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, um, Especially when you drop your bow. Yeah. Everybody realises yeah. that you were trying to cheat. <laughs> and then they get to the top and they go, okay, now, now do this direction. And they're like, Ugh. So, um, but if they get stuck, just say stop, get your bow hold back and continue. Nice. And then um, if you want to take it up a notch, you can say stop randomly and they can tap their fingers. Stop, tap, tap, because they still need the curve to make it when they're doing mm. the marking. This bracing action. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Gold star, thank you very much. Ed, do you have something that you would like to share? Um, <laughs> well, I'll just, yes, I'll share what I was just doing as we got my violin out not today. Not playing thirds. <laughs> no, not playing, not playing thirds. It's actually, um, it's a design warm up. Right. You know, uh, so Isaiah apparently he taught all his students had the same like this book of warm ups he did at the start of every lesson, every every practice, everything. It takes like a whole hour or an hour. And yeah, so and uh, this is a condensed sort of little bit of the opening of it, and it, it reminds me a bit of tone. It's very much tonalization. It's just finding the different notes in the strings and you're working your way up from them. And uh, the very first thing is to find a G major chord. First finger on A, second finger on E. And just from the G, bring your bow onto the string so you're breathing into everything as always. And just. sequence of adding each finger. After that one, I'll demonstrate where we go. Go up to a fourth finger on the E. So you're placing the first, moving up to the next string, placing the first, moving up to the string, the next string, all the way up to the E, and on the way back down, back to the first, release, first, Yeah, really good. Okay, um, so talk us through the twos. 
The twos are, um, you have high twos on the G and the D, and low twos on the A and E. My turn, your turn? My turn, your turn, right. <laughs>
Would you like to do something? Uh, yeah, put lines down. Great, can we just swap places so that you... have to do for a successful start? Lead. So yes. Yes. Good. And also everybody has to do something. Like pre prepare. prepare. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. If you prepare whichever foot you're going to kick first and we're not worried about which one. Yeah. It is. Exactly. Yeah. If you start like this then you're suddenly like oh where's the foot that's gone too, yeah. it's too late. Whereas if you're like okay everybody ready then you'll get a then Okay. We'll have success. So my turn and your turn. Prepare 
to change. So let's have a go. We'll go a little bit slower. Three, four.
Start some more. 